Hello everybody, this is Jasmine. So excited to be sharing some insights regarding our incredible dark room gathering times. We've had so many questions from you because we know many of you now are excitedly preparing to join us for our 2023 darkroom spaces. Some of the questions that we have been asked are so interesting, like, when did this begin? It's such an extreme initiation. We can track it back to the Essenes, the time of Jesus, those who were preparing for the coming of Jesus. Wonderful books written by people like Claire Hartsong, Anna, um, Grandmother of Jesus, and others talk about the times of the Essene and the structure of the Essene community. Then people would lie very willingly as part of their initiation for self-mastery in a coffin-like structure with a heavy lid moved across it just for three days and three nights. But they had to master the control of fluids in their bodies. They had been structured in or initiated experientially in the slowing down of the metabolic rate, the art of fasting and understanding how the body feels when it goes for three days and three nights without physical food and fluid, understanding how to work with the magnificence of this design, the breath, how we can change our metabolic rate, how we can expand our consciousness just through changing our breath and shifting our identification away from the external world and going into that relaxed, surrender, no agenda state of deep meditation which when the frequencies were right, would open the door to their ability to really disassociate from the physical form and go what you would call on a cosmic holiday, just going into a more vast, expanded theta brainwave state. That was the Essene experience. A few days later, friends, family, other initiates would come remove the lid and the person would just come out and, wow, often share that it was the most difficult thing they've ever done or the most joyous thing they'd ever done. And that's similar to what happens also with our people in darkroom space. People enter this initiation well prepared because we do start providing data for people long in advance, like now, to really detoxify the physical structure. So physical toxicity isn't something you have to deal with once you come in to join us because then there are things we need to learn and adopt like the transcendence of time so that this nine days and nine nights is not a boring experience but is an experience like the Essenes where we relax, relax, relax back to another part of ourselves that is multi-dimensional, pure, loving, and so wise. Merging back with that, especially with a group of so many like-minded people who are focused on the same thing, this recalibration, this reset back to our pure, perfect nature in a more dynamic way and quite a fast-track way. Just being in that group field had so much more as well. So in our next video, we want to touch on some of the others in the world who have been doing this for eons of time and the benefits that come to us all. This is Jasmine Heen, touching a little on 
dark room, our dark room laboratory.